everyone, we're going to find the points at which the tangent line to the curve is horizontal uh, for A and for B vertical. So the first thing we want to do for our parametric equations is to take our derivatives of uh, y and x with respect to t. So this is going to be a derivative with respect to t of y is t cubed minus 4t, which equals 3t squared minus 4. And our derivative of x with respect to t equals the derivative of 2 minus t with respect to t, and that's going to equal negative 1. So for um, a, the horizontal, that means uh, our derivative uh, for the horizontal, our derivative of y with respect to t has to equal 0. So that means uh, our 3t squared minus 4 equals 0. Therefore, uh, solving for t, you get 3t squared equals 4. Uh, t squared equals 4 thirds. So t equals plus or minus square root of 4 is 2 divided by square root of 3. All right, so that's your t. So now using our formulas here, we can substitute that in. And we're going to have uh, our x is going to be 2 plus 2 divided by square root of 3. And our other point is going to be 2 minus 2 divided by square root of 3. Substituting this in for our y, you uh, substitute that in and you're going to get um, negative 16 square root of 3 divided by 9. And this one's going to be positive 16 square root of 3 divided by 9. If you use the calculator, this would be um, 0 0.845 comma negative 3.079. And this one would be 3.155 comma 3.709. All right, now for the vertical part. So for the vertical part, we have a uh, derivative of x uh, with respect to t has to be 0. But it doesn't equal 0. 0 does not equal negative 1 for all of x. This, uh, this upside down a, a means for all. This makes it easier for all x. So there's no points. where the tangent line is vertical. And that's it, guys. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.